Oh, everybody, it's Magic out again. I'm going to do us another fly up here tonight. I think this will be the last one. That's what we're going to do tonight. That's called an elk hair cicada. It's on a size 14 hook. Um, thread we're going to use this uh, Art 6 uh, Olive or uh, a 136D. That's what I'm using right here. As you can see, um, a furnace or brown size 14 hackle, which is for Dr. Grizzly, but it's a, uh, this is uh, the furnace and then you got the brown, or brown, furnace and then brown, whatever, whichever it is. I don't know which the difference is, but which one's wet, one's brown, one's not. Uh, small gold wire. I don't have no gold wire, so I'm using copper. Uh, tan elk body hair. Then the head's just going to be the trimmed off to the from the hook where right we put our elk hair on her. It'll be like a little look like MC Hammer's head or hair one back in the day. Okay. All right. Let's get on with it. Oh, and the dubbing that we're going to be using is a. Uh, a wisp, super fine dubbing, cicadas green. I mean, this stuff, that's a little wad of it. And then I've already did five, six, and these things are, I mean, this is, you don't take nothing, okay? Taking, I mean, that, that's enough to do 30 hooks, probably. So, anyway. All right, what we're going to do here is, I'm going to debarb your hook, which I already got in the thing here. Right, you see, that's better right there, right? You see? Let's get some light on there. All right, there we go. Get some light on that situation. All right. All right, we're going to start. Oh, there we go. Just get a wrap going on there. And we're going to go right about to where the hook start. Right under the hook. Trim. And then we're going to put in a wire. Which I'm using. A little heavier wire than what it says, but that's all I got. Okay. Capture it with a couple of soft turns. And then pull that wire right back into where, right about where you're at. Where you did the turns. Capture that. Okay. And then we're going to take whatever color we're going to use. I think we'll use the, the darker body this time. Same things we did on the other one. We're going to stroke this back. All right. I don't know where you're going to see this best. Let me get that to quit turning and I'll put it in front of you. Like that. Can you see that? No, we still can't see it. All right. All right about here. Somewhere in there. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, pull these back to where they stand up. All right, then I'm going to trim them like I did the other ones on the uh, oh, what was it we tied? Anyway. That's what it's going to do. It's going to leave a little bit hanging there. Let me give something for our thread to latch onto. Okay. And I'm going to run that around and tie that. Make sure you get it tied down. See? All right. We got her. Okay. I don't care if it's off to the side. Okay. Now, we're going to run this back all the way back. We don't care if them feathers is sticking out there or not. So what we're going to do is put this dubbing on there. And it's going to cover our body anyway. This is our body. And you see how I'm going to do this. I'm just barely pulling. See? That little bit of fuzz. And I'm going to put it on here. And all we're going to do is a little bit more. I'm just going to barely pull it off there. 
it's the easy stuff, man. Then we push it up, right, right to our hook. Thread up right to the bottom there, and we're gonna wrap right where everything is like that. And we'll make a body. We can always put this stuff back, you know, if we need to add. We want a good, heavy body, okay? I'll put this right on top, almost right on the back on top of each other, okay? Now, it's hard to take this stuff off, it's easy to put it on. Okay, so that's always fits just like this. Slide that right up back up there. Where was that? Now we start wrapping again. Okay, we'll over wrap it, pull it. All right, just like so. How far up? We want to go. I'm still. I'm a little too far up. Okay, and we're gonna wrap. Like that, okay. All right, okay. And then we're gonna wrap this right back up to the head, like that, right to the head, just like that, okay. Now we're gonna take our hack. Let's go make our body. We want this shiny side. This has a shiny side to it and it has a dull side to it. And what we want to do is we want to do about four to six, maybe eight wraps on here. We want a good shiny light body out there. Okay, I'll go right like that. Okay, right where that dubbing stop, stopped at, we wanna come right in here and we wanna capture that. Okay, about two or three turns. There we go, like that, okay. And we wanna snip it, okay. Got a nice little fuzzy body there, see that? Put my hand around it. You see that? Boxing it out. See, you got that green, you can see the green contrast in there. Now, we wrap that this way. So we want to go the opposite way that we wrap that. Yeah, we want to go the opposite way. So what we want to do, this is going to be like a, a rib, kind of. And I'm moving this back and forth so it don't. These are going to be like our legs and our body and our stuff like that, okay? So I don't want it all squished down. So I'm moving it back and forth until we get to the, the head. All right. And then we'll just secure that. Wire's kind of tough. Okay. There you go. Now, now you guys, where in the hell does somebody from Tennessee get a, a water? Kind of hard to use. This is elk head, right? Elk hair. So, what I'm doing is I'm tripping a spot off there. And you're thinking, damn, he's done running it. Nope. That's what we got to do. Hold it tight here a second. I gotta get my stacker out so I can uh, stack this over. Bear with me here a second. I gotta get my stacker out of, here, out of my box. Okay, now. Yeah, I've got my, got my tablet set up here. Film. I think that's a better, uh, better view anyway. Now, get you one of these, get your stacker out. That's not a shot glass, so what I thought it was. Put your hair in here, and tap it. Tap it on, the, on your hand, or on the table, whatever. Okay. 
Okay. Like that. Pull it out. Your hire is going to be sticking out. I'll show you how to do that in there. Okay. I'm going to take the hair. Just a deer hair. Not elk hair. And I'll get it out here. I'm getting it everywhere. All right. This comes in a little pack. I guess it's a inch and a half to an inch square. There's a lot of hair on here, okay? So what you want to do is you want to get you a, a good uh, pinch of this hair. And it's just going to make your wing, uh, represent your wing on your cicadas. And that's just about what everything we got up here is all the flies that I've been tying. Kind of represents cicadas at one point in its life. Okay, and we're going to trim this off close. Okay. All right, and this deer hair, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to show you. I'll attempt to show you. See that fuzz? Let me get that fuzz out of that. Because it caused it to not act right in the water. So I'm going to try to get all that fuzz out of it if I can. I'm going to try to lock this camera so I can turn it now. See, it's not stacked up right now. Okay. I'm going to take this. Try to put this higher in here. Drop her in. Tap her on the top. I'm going to hang so I don't like it back high. So that's what we're trying to do is get it stacked up. Try and get them stacked up where they're lined up. When we get them out, we we'll set them up here. Tie them on, cut them. This last step of this fly. This is an easy fly. Kind of like I was telling you on one other video on that part, uh, on that Griffin's Nap, that it's a. Uh, uh, once we take them out. See the hairs lined up. You grab them. Right. So what you want, you want that to be just about the length of that fly, right? From the head to the, or from the eye to the shank, end of the shank, okay? About like that. And that's what we're gonna tie on there. Just like that. Now it's going to want to roll. So you do a couple of soft catches. Okay. And then you pull down on it. Do about three or four. See that turn? Try to spin on me there. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll turn it right back on top. Okay. Right there on top. Then I take my whip finish here. It says to pull that good top. Okay, now what I do, which makes it a lot easier to tie off, so you ain't got to go around all this stuff, is I take this. Now that hook, that hook uh, has an angle to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these hairs. Just like the angle of that hook, and it leaves like a little head on it, okay? Put that over here, out of the way, okay? Then we're gonna take this whip finish, finisher, we're gonna lay it right up here, like that. And this, my friends, is on the elk hair skates. Just like that, okay? Now if you got any stragglers hanging out here in the front, trim them back there, okay? So we don't want it. And you can always turn that, okay? And you put a little glue on there. Now as I say, it's glue, it's not glue. 
It's uh, you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. That's Sally Hansen's. Okay. Hard as nails. That is. 800 crystal clear. That makes great, great sealer. So I'm going to try this. Makes a good head sealer. So what you do is you dip. Put that on there. And you just shake a little bit on there. And all you want to do is just touch it and knock it out. Okay. And that's it. Easy peasy, nice and easy. All right. Now, like I said, I don't know if I did that in another video. I made these handles and put the seeded those needles in there. All these are are felting needles. And I took a piece of walnut, cut it down, and uh, sanded those down, made a good handle, makes a bigger handle to hold on to instead of the little thing you get in the kits or whatever. I like this a lot better. It's not perfect, but it serves its purpose a lot better than the other one. And then I just put it in a piece of cork like that, save the end of it. Okay. And that is your, that should be dry already. That is your cicadas. And you got your little hairs on the bottom. Okay. That's your elk hair cicadas. Okay. Now let's get back on the get back on my soapbox here. All right, get on these guys. Battlelog.org. They're not sponsoring me. I do it because of love. Them. Okay, they help me in tremendously. And you get up there and get away from the world and forget about everything. So give these guys a holler. Give Rick and Jesse and all of them a holler. Go up. Maybe get to go up and go see them and have a good time. So, and holler at me on uh, Facebook. Um, there's a link. I'll have a link down on, down below to do what you need to uh, find me. But just... Uh, James W. Dyer, D Y E R. Just give me a holler. All you vets, if you need anything, if you ain't a vet, holler at me anyway. All right. I'm going to put up with crap, but if you got something you need to do or need to talk about, we'll talk about it. All right. Well, I'm going to get off here, tie a few more of these flies, and uh, y'all have a good evening. It's Mad Scout. We're out.